Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you I hope you are all well by the grace of almighty welcome to NIABS home school I am Ashish Bishash an assistant teacher of mathematics in national ideal english version school morning shift today i am going to take a math class for the student of class 4 our today's topics is exercise 2.6 from these topics we shall solve two word problem or problem number 4 and or problem number 6 quiz is taken from page number 33 so my dear student what problem number 4 6 will be cw and what problem number 8 will be your sw today is our lecture number 6 of half yearly and today's sw number 2 my dear student today's sw number will be 2 when we do sw in our sw copy then we must give the sw number okay i repeat we must give the sw number so my dear student let us start our class i hope all of you have this book so open this book page number 33 from page number 33 we shall solve question number 4 6 as your cw so my dear student i have already written these two odd problem here okay from here we shall solve this two problem and problem number 8 will be your sw so at first we do odd problem number 4 so in order to do odd problem number 4 first of all we read the question notice in a godown there are 8375 sacks of sugar okay i repeat in a godown there are 8375 sacks of sugar and 11860 sacks of wheat and 12720 sacks of rice so find the total number of sacks in the godown okay in the godown that means in godown amount of sugar wheat and rice is given we need to find out the total amount of sugar wheat and rice so how can we find out the answer we do addition or we do subtraction notice here the uh, what total means that we need to add this three amount three amount okay so first of all we write question number 4 in a go down in a go down okay after that you give comma here okay there are now write there are 8000 375 sex of sugar okay next there are 11860 sex of wheat w a s e a t wheat then there are 12720 shakes of rice okay now we find out the total amount in order to find the total amount we do addition here for this reason here we give addition sign that means plus sign after that we do addition we know how to do addition but for your better understand i repeat this again suppose uh 500 it is in ones place 762 is in tens place 387 in hundred place 81 and 2 is in thousand place and 1 and 1 is in ones place at first we do addition of ones place that means here 500 if we add 5 with 0 then it will be 5 then that 5 is added with 0 and that will be 5 so here 5 now we do addition of tens place 7 and 6 13 13 plus 2 it will be 15 from 15 i write here 5 carry 1 and that one is added with this 7 and it will be 8 8 and 8 16 16 plus 3 it will be 19 from 19 i write here 9 carry 1 that one is added with this two and it will be 3 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 
12 from 12 by right here to now carrying one that one is added with this one and it will be two two plus one it will be three so here we write total equal to thirty two thousand nine hundred fifty five checks of checks no need to write anything else after that we write answer thirty two thousand nine hundred fifty five checks i hope you have understood so my dear student this is the solution of question number four okay i hope you have no problem in this section okay next we shall solve what problem number six in order to solve question number six at first we read the question so what is the difference between the largest and smallest number formed by the digit six four eight zero using each digit only once my dear student here you notice four digits are given which are six four eight and zero by using this digit at first we make the largest number and then we get the then we make the smallest number okay when we find out the largest and smallest number then we find out the difference of them that means we do subtraction we subtract the smallest number from the largest number and we get the difference this is so easy math okay i repeat first of all i using this four digit that means using six four eight and zero we make the largest number after that we make the smallest number so in order to finding the difference we do subtraction of largest number and smallest number so we subtract the smallest number from the largest number and we get the difference so first of all we write given that the digits are six number given that the digits are six four eight and zero okay six four eight and zero okay my dear student here i write here so which one is the smallest number zero so zero is a smaller than who is on four four is a smaller than who is on six six is a smaller than eight so from this expression we can easily find out the largest number and also smallest number so notice the largest number is by using this one that means largest number if we write this number just this way 8640 then it will be the largest number so 8640 will be the largest number similar way we find out the smallest number the smallest number is my student notice smallest number that means we write the number from smaller but here zero if we write zero at the left then the number will be three digit number that means left zeros has no value suppose this number will be zero four six eight but this zero has no value that means we read this number as 468 but the question asks you to use all this digit okay so we need not to write this way so how can we write the smallest way we just change this these two places that means 4 is there and 0 is there okay so 4 0 6 8 will be the smallest number by using this digit so now we find out the difference right so the difference of the largest and smallest will be we do subtraction 48640 minus 4068 okay can we solve side by side subtraction yes we can we have already done this from our previous classes so here 0 here 8 at first we do once place subtraction 0 is smaller than 8 
for this reason we consider this is 10 now we subtract 8 from 10 and we get 2 and that one is added with this 6 it will be 7 7 to 4 4 is a smaller than 7 for this reason it is considered 14 so if we subtract 7 from 14 then we get 7 and that carrying on is added with this 0 and it will be 1 now we subtract 1 from 6 and we get 5 after that we subtract 4 from 8 and we get 4 so 4572 will be the difference of the largest and the smallest number so this is the answer and we write answer 4572 now my dear student we shall do our sw today here is w number two please read the question first sum of three numbers is 84025 among them two numbers are 12450 and 37865 what is the third number okay my dear student notice the board please just like this i shall give you a small example notice suppose sum of three numbers is 10 sum of three number is 10 okay from that three number two numbers are given which are 2 and 5 one number is 2 and another one is 5 but here three number one number is not given we need to find out that third number okay so how can we find out the third number at first we do addition of this two number okay at first we do addition of the given two number after that five to seven after that we do subtraction of this ten and seven that means we subtract the addition of two number from the addition of three number and we get the third number that means ten minus seven and we get three and it is the answer just like this way you shall solve this math first of all you add this two number after that you get the a summation and that summation is subtracted from the sum of three numbers and you get the third number i hope you have understood you must do this sw in your sw copy okay my dear student who didn't submit sw yet please submit sw soon and who have already submit your sw in our school library so i uh, thank them so my dear student no more today i hope you have understood my today's lecture keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then assalamu alaikum